Happy Monday, YouTube. So I'm like extra excited right now because it came today. So I ordered me a sonogram machine because I can't feel for follicles. I'm not that experienced in breeding. So I, you know what, I just, it's good to have one anyway, right? Um, let's say for instance, there may be something going on wrong with my reptiles. And although I'm not a veterinarian, I do have a degree in mortuary science. So I know the human body really, really well. I know um, how they sh it should function and um, some things that may show ailments, um, such as necrosis of the liver, um, inflammation of the gallbladder, uh, 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 inflammation of the heart, different things like that, that even though the anatomy is not exactly the same, I could still probably be able to identify that um, in my animals, um, fluid on the lungs, pneumonia, just different things like that. But I specifically got it because as some of you know, like some of you who are either in my reptile group or for those of you who are following me on my personal Instagram or Facebook page, I actually decided to pair up my spider ball and my pastel ivory. Um, October 31st was the first day that I paired them. But um, she's actually come off food. But she never comes off food. This is one of the pythons they eat all the time. Um, she's very active. Um, she'll have days where she'll kind of just kind of find a little place to relax and just chill there, spending more time on her pool side. So, thought it was time to get a sonogram machine to actually be able to test her to see if um she has follicles and what sizes they are. Uh, that will help me as an inexperienced breeder to understand the process better. So I it was a toss up between the one from I think it was Freedom Breeders or this one because I asked a straightforward question: Is it a major difference between spending twenty three hundred and twelve hundred for a sonogram machine? And most people say no. Um, I do know there are some additional advantages that the other one may have. Um, I get that. But um, for me, who's starting out, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So let's open this one. Now, if you think this is a video about teaching you how to sonogram a reptile, this not it. Go find one of them other ones. There's a lot out there. I looked at a lot of them over the last week or so. Um, yeah. This is not going to be an educational piece at all. This is going to be a watch me do it for the first time and try to figure it out piece. And hopefully something cool happens in the midst of that. So, it's nicely wrapped. And I actually ordered this one from, ooh, Jesus, bigger than I thought, um, from off of Amazon as suggested. I think with the linear probe, it was right around 1200 and something. And then with the taxes, it ended up being like 1270 something, if I'm not mistaken. Definitely still less than 23, 2500. But if I had to order the other one, I would have to. So no big. But I feel very excited about this. And they have it wrapped, okay? Wrap, wrap. So, for all of you who are experienced in saw knowing your reptiles, feel free to leave comments, advice, suggestions, feedback, all of that good stuff in the comments. Help a girl out. Um, this is an area that I would need a lot of education on and I'm, I have a lot of questions so please, please feel free to do so. Alright, so we got that out. Um, and of course I'll continue to educate myself, play with this machine when I have downtime. 
and definitely master it a little more before I get into further attempts of breeding. So I have a little bit of everything, corn snakes, ball pythons, green tree python, ball constrictors, and of course the Burmese pythons and my favorite, my reticulated pythons. But the funny thing is, manual, um, I don't know if I wanna breed reticulated pythons. I think I'm testing the ball pythons for sure and it may, wanna, it may be boas for me. So, I mean, we'll definitely see in the future but, and if I do breed my reticulated pythons, it won't be all of them. I probably would see what I will get in a pairing of my Motley Golden Child Sun female and my Tiger Pod 100% Pet Albino male, if I did. Um, or the Motley Golden Child Sun and the Motley Mochino. Um, but yeah, I just don't think that I want to market that many eggs. I mean, I appreciate all of you. I buy my, um, well, it's only two, uh, people that I buy my reticulated pythons from. Well, it's three. I forgot it. Matthew, um, I actually got one from Matthew Oakley. Um, but with that being said, I appreciate you guys, but I don't think it's going to be for me. So, here it is. And as you can see, it is the contact medical systems sonogram. Um, I watched a couple people, but of course, I'm going to shout out Antoine Hood because... I am. Um, I watched his video probably three times where he showed how he uses the machine. And voila! So I'm going to get it hooked up, change my clothes because I literally just got in from work and was like, yay! <laughs> um, and then I'm going to set it up get it started and then let's try to see what we find as far as follicles in the ivory pastel stay tuned okay guys so i got it all set up and i did it all by myself i'm proud i'm proud um so what we're going to do is get ivory who is the snake that we're going to sign out today um bear with me i've never done this i don't know how this is going to go but if anything, you get to see what the sonogram machine looks like. Um, from all the videos that I see, once I get the image on the screen, it's, I think all I have to do is freeze it and then um, measure. And measuring, I just think you take it and you freeze and you freeze. We're going to play with it. I don't know. I do know that I'm going to save something and then measure. Or freeze something and then measure. We're going to see. I just hope I see something. I don't even care if it's not follicles. I just want to see something, right? Make sure it works. Be back. Okay, so I have Irie. And Irie is the Irie pastel that we're going to sauna to see if she has any follicles at all, actually. Um, and I'm going to get Michael to come help me. There's your mama. All right, here we go. Stay Okay, so Michael is holding the snake right now. I repeat, I don't know what part of the video that some of you are gonna come in on. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna put it actually on the probe, the gel. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Wait a minute. So I can see why they say nothing happens until you put the gel in. Y'all kind of saw that how it just came up on the screen when I started putting the gel on. Um, so I'm going to try to position this right. We want to straighten her body out, Michael. All right, let's see what we come up with. Okay, 
guess you guys can see the screen. I don't know what I'm looking at, but okay. Uh, let me come up here, Michael. All right, that could be her gallbladder. I did see a little spot. Where is she going? Can you bring her back? I mean, she keep her straight now, but bring her back a little bit. Come on, Ari, you gotta participate because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, somebody can see that. I think that's probably her gallbladder. So what I'm looking for is, Michael, several of these in like a chain. <laughs> she will not stay still. Come on, Ari. I might have to wipe it off and put some more on it. I think it's me. It's not you. It's this. It's it's me. It's not you. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. So I'm back. As you can see, it's a whole different day. So what I decided to to do last night, um, after playing with the sauna with Ivory, um reading the manual a little more uh took the advice of my boy Antoine Hood and I ordered this and got this today to make things easier so what I'm going to do today is again attempt to find follicles on Irie if I don't see them today I'm going to assume that I'm not doing it wrong and just assume that she doesn't have big enough follicles for me to see or any follicles at all so we're going to see. Um, I do feel like, you know, I can maneuver the machine a little bit more. And, and honestly, guys, that's what this video is about. It's about the machine, not how good I am at using it. So stay tuned and I'll be back. Okay, so I got Ari again today. Ari, hopefully is going to participate um, with the sonogramming. So okay so guys you should be able to see the screen and like i said in the beginning if i don't see anything after about a few minutes i'm going to assume that she just doesn't have them all right so let's get you guys on the screen and i got Irene. and also when i studied a little bit more last night i think i might have been sonogramming her too far up. Uh, Michael, hit the dining room light for me, please. Um, there was something else I learned to kind of dim the light that might be better. So let's see. I think I can get this screen bigger some kind of way. But for right now, this is what we got. I ain't going to start messing with that. So let's see. I was trying to figure out what I'm doing. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. It's right in there. Girl, we, if she would just stay still, I think I might see something. All right, I don't know if y'all can see the screen. But for my pros, I think I see a little something right in here. Let's see if I can. It's hard to do when you're by yourself. I want to try to freeze it, but I don't even think I can by myself. But I think I do see some small follicles. All right, guys, so count this as a useless video other than 
If you want to know if I like the machine, <laughs> absolutely love it. Um, I think it has really cool features that I'm still learning. Um, I think Ari may have follicles. Um, I think they may be very small, but I have to get better at the measuring and definitely much better at or find a process or procedure um, in helping me to actually do the sauna along with her. So that's where that $2,300 one from, I said earlier, um, free, um, freedom breeder, but it's actually breeding circle that I saw that one on and it had the pedal and everything to it. So if you were working with that snake by yourself, you can just hit the pedal to freeze it. So there's some value there. I don't know if this $1,300 worth of value, um, but, um, for me, I can see where that, you know, people who are actually sonogramming snakes all the time where that would be beneficial but for me who would not be doing it all the time just occasionally um this contact works really 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 good um i really do like it i love to see the imaging like i can see the ribs and the gallbladder and the and and, and just things inside the snake right the liver um I think I'll have to be, get better at seeing the follicles and definitely when the um, they become eggs, when she actually produces eggs, I do believe that that's going to be even harder for me to see with my eyes. So that's why I keep these on. Um, but <laughs> otherwise, I mean, just for a review, I give it a 10, perfect 10 um, or perfect 5, however way you, whatever scale you're using. It's actually a, a th something I should have probably purchased sooner. And like I said, not just for the event of having a reptile who um, may become fertile, but in the event that something is seriously wrong with your, your reptile, um, it can at least give you an interior view of anything that may be going wrong, like such as impactions and stuff like that. So yeah, I like it. Um, I would say probably in another month, I will sauna her again. And by then, I should be a little bit better with the machine. And you guys can enjoy this video a little bit more. Um, if you want to see people really, really use it, it's plenty of YouTube videos out there. Again, I'm going to refer um, you guys to Antoine Hood, um, High Desert Pythons. Um, that's where I felt the speed of the video was better for me. Um, and I thought it was very informative. So if you purchase the machine and you need to check one out, definitely check out um, High, High Desert Pythons um, and was Antoine Hood's video on sonogramming pythons. Thank you and have a happy holiday. Bye.